Hi everyone. I just wanted to do a mini post about one of my rescue cats, Cricket, who is <clears throat> these days after spending um, 12 years together now, um, I gotta say he is one of my greatest treasures in life. He's a really special cat. He's one of the smartest cats I've ever met. Um, he's, he's got a, he was born with a virus um, that caused some mobility issues in his body called cerebellum hypoplasia. And it gives him a walk that looks a little bit like a march. Uh, my friend Misty calls it a march. And honestly, a march matches his personality perfectly. He has an immense amount of pride and he has this incredible will to be like all the other cats, even though he's not like all the other cats, his legs are different. And that's how he got the name Cricket. Um, he's amazing and he is full of love and he wants to kiss everyone he meets. He wants to be friends with everyone. He's made friends with many of our male men and male women over the years. And he loves to greet new guests and he's just a delight in every way. And I'm introducing my cricket here because I just wanted to um, mention cerebellum hypoplasia and I wanted to say um, if you meet a cat um, in a rescue who has cerebellum hypoplasia, don't be put off because cricket is amazing. He knows several tricks. He does tricks more than my other cats. He's brilliant and he's hilarious. And as evidenced by the hearts, can you see the hearts on his nose? He's a little camera shy. He's got a big black heart right on his nose. Kind of demonstrates what a love bug my cricket is. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say a word about cerebellum hypoplasia because they used to um, put to sleep animals like this and there's no need for that. Um, my little cricket came to me as a kitten on the night of the 4th of July in Los Angeles and we don't know if he was separated from his family and was scared from the fireworks, although he seemed like he was hungry and on the streets for a while. Um, we strengthened his muscles a lot with toys that make noise. He doesn't have good peripheral, peripheral vision. Um, and so I give him toys that have sounds and so uh, we built his body up a lot and he's really healthy and he's he's living the life of the coolest pirate adventure cat ever. So just a word about this cause because it's dear to my heart and it affects, you know, a lot of cats who need a good home. And again, um, don't, don't hesitate to adopt a kitty with cerebellum hypoplasia. Cricket is brilliant, and he's sending out lots of kisses and hugs to everyone, and he literally, quite honestly, he loves you all. Thanks again. I'm going to put a link um, about this illness that affects cats um, in the section below in case anyone needs any more information on this matter. Thanks again.